Good day, this is Ray. Today is Saturday, May 13th, 2023. And for me, another day. I'm not going to say social distancing because I'm going back to the office. And uh, more to come about that. I uh, hope you and your family, friends, and loved ones are doing well and staying safe. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> talk about a topic that I'm probably not qualified to talk about. And I'm just going to throw it out there. So for years, I was a a working musician, uh, primarily jazz, trumpet, and some piano, but also a gospel musician, wrote, wrote music, as well as arranged um, parts and performed quite a bit. That was my life. That's what I knew. I had this teacher in college in particular. He said two things over and over again. He said, less is more. And talk is cheap. And I think right off the bat, less is more resonated with me. Because when it comes to improvisation, I think early on, when I was trying to learn how to improvise, I played a lot of notes. And it was just basically a lot of sound. And I would try to emulate other musicians that I was listening to at the time that were a lot more advanced than me. And there was really no rhyme or reason to my improvising, except that I would try to fit within the structure of the song, you know, whether it be the form of it or with uh, whatever key the song was in. So I was able to do that much. But he said, you know, less is more. And so I said, OK, all right, maybe I should be playing less. And then I would do that. I would let um, some parts of my improvisation breathe or I'll step on the gas and you know play more notes it just really depended depended on the uh the mood of the song and actually my mood because a lot of the time uh the music uh impacted me i was i was very in tune with with the music whether it be uh romantic or whether it be avant-garde, it could be Dixieland, it, it didn't really matter. You know, I just really connected with it. So that was one thing that he said, less is more. But he also said talk is cheap. And, um, you know, I think back to college, I had a lot of performances to attend, a lot of performances to go to. I was a stage manager, and I would flip the pages for professional musicians and things like that, classical musicians in particular. And um, there would be sometimes because you have to go overseas and perform that I would fill in as the band director in my later years of college, probably my junior year or senior year, I'll fill in. And, um, you know, I remember um, a lot of times I would go into the practice room and you know, practice a lot of things over and over again, scales, chords, playing in tune playing fast, playing slow, all that stuff. And I remember having conversations with my bandmates and other, other friends and, you know, saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to play here, I'm going to uh, play there. And um, some of the things panned out, some of the things didn't. But it's, you know, something that I carry on in my life is that if I say I'm going to do something, Seven times out of ten, I'm going to do it. Talk, talk is cheap is a, you know, for me, it feels like a controversial statement because talk in a lot of cases is, is important. And when I hear other people talk, you know, like when I was learning about budgeting, I, I had to listen to, to uh, Brad Long tell me how to get it done, of course. And that, but after I listened to him, you know, give his presentation on how to budget and considerations 
of all the different categories that's involved when it comes to budgeting. I had to actually implement. I had to, to go and do those things. And I didn't sit on it. I didn't wait. I went ahead and just did it as ugly as it looked in the beginning. And, you know, the many mistakes that I probably made in the first few months of budgeting, I went ahead and, and did it. And even now, you know, uh, work-wise, going back going back to the office, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to make myself be comfortable in that environment again. Um, whether it be the setup of my desk or if I you need, need certain tools to be able to help me uh, lessen getting up and walking around, whatever. I've been back basically for a month, going in a few days a week. And I'm, you know, doing everything to really get back into the mindset of being being helpful, being with people, and um, you know, having whatever impact I can have uh, each day. One of the other things, you know, I think about is at the beginning of the year, I talked about becoming a better cook and that's happening very slowly. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sort of beating myself up about it because that's definitely something that I want to get, you know, good at. And uh, I want to speed up the process. So, you know, I'm getting very close to just seeing if I could go and find a cooking class out there. Maybe once a week to just force my hand and just really go ahead and do it because I, you know, I know the benefit of doing that. I have a lot of uh, skillet meals, you know, meals that are fairly easy to prepare, and that's cool and all, you know, to still save me money. But I really want to become comfortable in the kitchen environment and uh, being able to just prepare meals, and that'd be one less thing to worry about. Especially because, you know, right now I'm focused on my career designation and, and um, you know, really want to be able to have this fairly big designation by the end of the year. <clears throat> so, you know, I made a, a promise to myself, not a promise, but I, I said what I was going to do is to become a better cook and I just got to do it. You know, that's you no know, ifs, ands, or buts about it. I gotta, I gotta do that. When my health took a turn, I was, as, you know, there were times I wanted to just give up. No, that didn't happen. I had to focus on my health. As a matter of fact, um, not this week coming up, but the week after next, I have five days off, and four out of those five days will be going to different appointments to go see my eye doctor one day, to see a dermatologist the next to see my rheumatologist and um, I have one more appointment. I forget which uh, one that is. Uh, so, and I'm taking my health fair series. Um, you know, it's just fine. It's fine to talk. It's fine to talk, but there has to be action. Um, and if it's, you know, if it's something that's worthwhile, something worth pursuing, then absolutely go for it. If it's not, let it go. Maybe you need to, to revisit that topic later on. But, um, you know, I've been doing these YouTube videos. It's free. That's probably the, probably the cheapest form of talk is that I could just spill my guts here on YouTube. Not for a large audience. I, I never, you know, look for that. If that happens, great. If not, so be it. For, for me, this is very therapeutic, and uh, this is you know definitely something I enjoy doing. But uh, today, I'm going to study because in two weeks I'm going to take the exam for my second course that I'm taking for this uh, creative designation. I'll be spending today and tomorrow probably uh, pouring over some of the the big ideas of the topics that I'm, I'm studying and then um, I'm just going to, you know, relax. I will be going into the office uh, next week. Normally I go in two days. I'm go next week I'm going to go in three and then a week after that is what I have off. And uh, we shall see how things go. So if you made it this far, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. 
hit the bell for notifications. You know when I post my videos. And until next time, I hope you have, hope you have a wonderful weekend and a great week upcoming. You can find me at youtube.com forward slash at Chronicles of Ray. Thank you for watching. Take care.